Really, the reason I decided to become an ophthalmologist, I saw one, and I liked the way he carried himself. I didn't really know what an ophthalmologist was. At that time, when I finished medical school, there was not an opportunity for anyone to become an ophthalmologist that looked like me other than I saw this doc. So I asked him, where could I go and learn how to be an ophthalmologist? And he said, let me tell you about this program in St. Louis, Homer G. Phillips Hospital. The training was just outstanding. I was surrounded around people that looked like me, that were experts in their fields, and I learned so, so much in all disciplines of medicine. I'm beginning to turn over a new page. My job now is to keep this vision going. In other words, I want to help others to proceed on. When I started, there weren't so many new innovations in medicines. I helped do some research. There are newer eye drops, new surgeries, new this, new that. And it's, now is the time for the younger folks to come and keep it going, and especially in the Afro-American community. Patients feel a lot more comfortable when they see someone that's empathetic and looks like them. My proudest accomplishment is getting my wife to marry me. <laughs> I was put here for a purpose by my Lord and Savior, and I'm glad that I was able to help folks. But when it's all said and done, my legacy comes from God giving me this wonderful woman, giving me these wonderful babies. Thank <laughs> you.